Blessed are you who come here in the name of God. We bless you in the name of God. May our beloved God grant blessings to the bride and groom. After our first date, I remember sitting in my car and thinking, wow, there's a woman I will never hear from again. I'm proud and extremely lucky to be a part of your life. While Los Angeles was shutting down and on fire, we were... We were fostering a big dumb dog together. While relationships were ending from the strain of constant contact, we were moving in and spending every hour together. People say that having a partner is difficult, but with you it feels like the easiest thing I've done. Neither one of us walked away from our first date with any sort of feeling of this is the one, but I should have. Something was different, something was special about you from the very first moment we hinged on an app. I would often find myself looking back on our messages, our simple chats, and looking back at your picture, an incredibly awkward amount of time for anyone who's not getting married in the future. I found it strange then that I would do that, and now I know I loved you before I even knew you. Know in my soul, Ian, you're the kindest, most patient, loyal, and one of the smartest people I have ever met. I love how smart and collected you are, how you light up every room you walk into, how you yes and my bits. I vow to be with you through the cromulent times and the craptacular, to quote Simpsons. I promise to support you in your life and in your career, to be understanding, to be patient, to be helpful with math questions. I thought I would, thought I would grow old alone, most of my family probably did too. But now I can't imagine life without you. And I can't wait to spend the rest of it with us moving, exploring, and snuggling. I promise to do everything I can to make our world a happy one, one made up song and one bit at a time. I will love you in health and sickness, through sorrow and success, for all the days of my life, as you are my forever, my dream come true, my consistent cheerleader, my husband. I'm honored to become your wife and vow to love you unconditionally today and forever. Mm -hmm. I join my life with yours. I join my life with yours. Ani lido di. Ani ado di. Vido di. Vido di. Li. Li. I am my beloved. I am my beloved. And my beloved is mine. And my beloved is mine. You were born together, and together shall be forevermore. You shall be together when the white wings of death scatter your days. Yes, you shall be together even in the silent memory of God. But let there be spaces in your togetherness, and let the winds of heaven dance between you. Love one another, but make not a bond of love. Let it rather be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. Fill each other's cup, but drink not from one cup. Give one 
another of your bread, but not eat, do not eat from the same loaf. Sing and dance together and be joyous, but each one of you be alone, even as the strings of a lute are alone, though they quiver with the same music. You all know what to say at the end of this, right? Okay, one, two, three. Muzzle! Family, old family, in-laws, new families, whatever. This brings great joy to my heart to see all of you. So, Felicia put us on to give the welcome. Let me officially welcome all of you to this fabulous, wonderful occasion. Phil and I are so delighted to have all of you come from near and far to share this moment. Dating, and he had tons of first dates. And I'd ask him about them, and he'd tell me. And then one day, he's telling me about a date. Oh, that's great. What's your name? Oh, it's Felicia. Okay. And then he had another date. Oh, what's her name? Felicia. Another date. Same girl. It's like, wow. There's hope here. Right. There's hope. And wouldn't you know it, he met the right girl. Whoop. Came along at the right time. And look how easy he slipped into sharing their lives together during COVID. It all came full circle. And as he said in his speech to her, my family probably thought I'd be alone forever too. And we did. So <laughs> we could not love Felicia more just for that. Thanks, guys. Love you. a Yiddish word. It's called beshert. I'm not very familiar with a lot of Yiddish, but I know beshert. Beshert means it was meant to be. And I have never seen a couple that is more beshert than this couple. They love each other. They're best friends. It's beshert. So I want to say mazel tov. <laughs> Spent a lot of time with Ian. Every time I turned, there he was, seemed like. But now it feels like I never really knew him. Thank you for doing what you have done for my brother, and thank you for you know, just being a really strong unit. You definitely make each other better, and it's great, so. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Phil, uh, you know, for your worldly knowledge from Mexico to epoxy. Yeah. <laughs> it's come in handy more than once. Uh, you've both raised a smart, strong daughter who supports my neuroses with a smile. <laughs> speak. I am a little horrified of the horror coming. I am prolonging it as soon as I can. So for the last time this evening, please raise your glasses as we celebrate you all uh, for coming here today. And I always say thank you, love, peace, and happiness. Thank you so much, everyone.